everybody. Today we are going to create a race bib in metal display. If you run 5Ks or any marathons or anything, this is a great way to display your hard work and your training and everything that you have accomplished with your running. This is a sample that Janine made. She did paint it before she started and she used all the hardware and everything that you will get with your packet from the library. You have the option of painting, putting letters and stencils on it if you want. This is a smaller version, so there isn't very much room, but you can always remake it later on with a different size that you can put words and maybe your name on as well. So what you should have gotten from the library is a handout with instructions on it and some inspirational pictures might give you some ideas on different ways people have made it and then there's some links on the top that will also go into inspirational ideas as well if you want to remake it later on. You also should have got a wooden plaque that is 9 by 12 and then you should have got a bag of hardware. And in that bag, you should have received two toothed hangers with small black screws to fasten it onto, two little clamps with two silver screws to fasten them, and five L screws that look like this and these are going to be the holders for your metals. To do this project what we need is going to be a pencil and an eraser. We're going to need a ruler. We're going to need a power drill and a drill bit. You can use a hand drill like this that's battery powered if you can use a wired one. Um, the drill bit size that you need is a Nine sixty fourths. If you don't have a power drill, you can use a nail and hammer. This is actually how Janine was able to do hers. She was actually able to use the nail and the hammer opposed to the hand drill. And then you also need an Phillips screwdriver for this. And lastly, you will need a pair of pliers to help tighten the elk hooks into the plaque. Before you get started, I say if you want to add any stain or paint or anything to this, make sure that you do it before you start doing any of the instructions we're about to go over. Make sure that when you do it, put down something protective on your surface so you don't ruin anything. And also make sure that it's completely dry before you start. And then if you want to add any stenciled letters or adhesive stickers or anything, you will want to do that towards the end. All right, let's get started. For this display, the nine inch measurement is going to be across the display and the 12 inch measurement is going to be from the top to the bottom. So we have a tall display. So then what you need to do is get your ruler and your pencil and we are going to mark out all the measurements first before we start putting on the hardware. The first measurements we're going to do is going to be the measurements at the top for the clips and the measurement for the L hooks along the bottom. So we're going to take our ruler and we're going to make a measurement two inches from the top. For this measurement, we're going to put zero at the beveled edge of the wood. And the nice part about this particular measurement is that the two inches line up with these corners. So when you go ahead and draw your line, you can actually use those corners as a guide to kind of make sure that they're straight. And then the next one is we're going to do two inches from the bottom, again with the beveled edge being at zero. All right. 
Now that we have those two lines, what we're going to do is take our ruler and pencil again, and this time we're going to measure out spots along the bottom line at certain measurements. But this time we're going to use the outer edge of the wood as zero. For these measurements, you want to have a measurement at one inch at two and three quarters, at four and a half, at six and a quarter, and the last one being at eight inches. So those are going to be our five spots that we will drill in a little bit. Next we're going to mark the top spots where we're going to put the clips for the bibs. This one we're going to use zero at the beveled edge again for these marks. So these marks you want to have at two and a half and one at five and three quarters. So those two marks are going to be where we'll be attaching our clips in a little bit. Next, what you want to do is take your drill with your drill bit and we're going to drill these holes before we start adding the hardware. So what you want to do is take your drill, make sure that when you do drill that you only go down about a quarter of an inch. You don't want to go through too far into the wood or through the wood. You want to make sure that your drill is nice and straight and try and drill as slow as you can. There we go. So as you can see, I'll bring it closer here. You can see I only went down a little bit because they're just pilot holes for our our hooks that we're going to be screwing into them a little bit. Um, you don't want to go through the back, so make sure that you don't drill through the back. Um, one thing that I do suggest if you are unsure about your control on the gr drill is maybe put a piece of wood or something protective underneath um, um, so you don't drill into your table or your workbench. That, and that's another reason why I said only go down a quarter inch because this is only three quarters inch thick. So if you try and go half inch or more, you could easily get through the back. But I only did a quarter inch. Next, we want to actually flip it over and make sure that you're doing this along the top. Make sure that you're doing this part along the top edge here. So what we're going to do is along the top, we are actually going to be marking and putting on our hanging hardware. So for this, bring out your ruler and pencil again, and you're going to mark a line at two inches from the top with the outer edge. There's no beveled edge on here, so it's obviously going to be from the, um, the very edge of the wood. So you want to go from two inches along the top. So now that you have that marked, what you're going to want to do is get out your first pieces of hardware, which are the tooth hangers with the little small screws that you got from the library. So what we're going to do to fasten these, we're going to use the line that we just drew as a guideline for the tops of them. And then we're going to actually make sure that the outer edge here is an inch and a half away from the edge of the plaque. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna mark out an inch and a half. So here's an inch and a half on this side and here is an inch and a half on this side. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your tooth hangers and have the very outer edge of them lined up with an inch and a half and the tops of them make sure that they're along this two inch edge. And then what you're going to need is you're going to need your Phillips screwdriver 
you want to hold the hanger while you're screwing it in. So there's one. And then next, take your next one and have that. So now we have our first set of hardware installed on the back. Once you have that, you can go ahead and erase the extra lines that you have. This doesn't really matter since this is the back, but you always you can always erase it later or when you're done. Now we're going to flip it back over and we're going to install the rest of our hardware, okay? So the first hardware we're going to install is we're going to install the five metal pegs along the bottom. So what you do is with this, you're actually, when you screw it in, you're actually going to have a good, a little bit of your thread here visible after you screw it in. We're only going to screw it in about halfway. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw this one in and I'll show you how far I go in on it. So you'll see, you only have about half of the thread left showing. Now that won't matter because once you put metals on this, it'll cover up that thread and you won't be able to see it anyway. So let's go ahead and finish putting the rest of these. One tip I will put in here right now is, um, I would suggest if you have, if this is, is hurting your fingers, you could grab a pair of pliers and to turn them, which would be easier if, if it hurts your fingers. All right, so you can kind of push them a little bit to try and get them straight, but you don't want to push them too hard because it'll start hurting the wood. But you'll see from the side here that they are all lined up. And the last step of installing the hardware is going to be the metal clamps for the bibs. So what you want to do is get your bibs and one of your silver screws that you got, and we're going to install them on these two marks on the top. So get your Phillips screwdriver, And you're going to put it through that back hole that sits on the wood at the mark that you made. All right. And then you can go ahead and erase any lines that you have. There you go. Now you can just go ahead and start adding your race bibs and your race metals. Make sure to hang it on two secure hangers on the wall. Maybe use some wall anchors to make sure that you don't hurt your drywall or anything. Check our website for any new craft kits that you'll be able to pick up from us. We will probably be having more in the winter. And make sure to check your fine print. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email us.